canvas wall art tonight so this is the canvas that we're using and we're turning it from this to something like this okay so that's what i mean by word art okay um i've done a, f a fair few of these um in the four or five years i've been working with vinyl um i've done lots of cheer ones um i've done a couple of soccer ones i've done heaps of football ones i've done a couple of dance ones um, but it doesn't have to be sport it will literally work for any theme uh sport family special occasion right you name it if you can think up some buzzwords for it it'll work okay <coughs> sorry um so where i'm going to show you how to do this uh in silhouette studio because i am a silhouette user the basics apply to design space as well um, if you would like me to film a separate step-by-step -step thing for design space can you please let me know in the comments and i can do that for you and add it into the video before it gets edited to upload um, but tonight i'm just going to be showing you in silhouette studio so oh you know what i haven't done hang on i've got to quickly uh it was robin and Sharon and Lisa I promised I'd tag okay before I forget and I don't get into trouble okay so I'm gonna do exactly what I did the other night and I'm going to open this up and then open up my Google search okay so the first thing that we want to do is find two to three images that we can fit on our canvas. Um, so I've just searched for cheer tumble silhouette tonight. Okay. Uh, the first one I'm going to use is this really cool heel stretch. Um, the girl that we're making this canvas for tonight um, is one of my son's cheerleading friends from his old gym um there's a there's a story with that gym that i'm not going to get into but thankfully um a lot of the kids that he was friends with uh that weren't causing any of the problems um he's still good friends with them uh, so when I, told, I asked him this afternoon whether he wanted one for his room or whether he wanted to give one to somebody else and he chose to give it to his friend Imogen, okay? Uh, so we're going to start off with this heel stretch and I'm going to colour her black and I'm going to move her over to this side about there and drag her down a little bit, okay. Uh, so the canvas that I'm working on is six and a quarter inches tall by ten and a quarter inches wide. Um, when you're doing, hi Kelly, when you're doing um, your design, make sure that you set your work space to the same size as your canvas so that you know the area that you're working with. And as you go, you're not going to have to read, whoops. You're not going to have to re-size um, anything or put anything out of whack or out of shape or anything like that once it's all done. Okay, so I'm going to go back and the other image I used was like a straight leg walkover. Um, here she is, this one here. Uh, right click copy and then I'm just going to go right click paste. Uh, Cricut users, I'm not sure if you can copy and paste into Design Space, can you? So you might have to right click save image and then import your image in the way that you normally would. Um, so I'm just going to trace my lady. We're going to have a foot as well, this random foot. Um, I can go right click release compound path and that pulls it into different pieces. So we can get rid of this random leg. Okay. And I'm going to put her down the bottom here like that. And I'm going to colour that. Um, okay, so once you have your silhouettes in place, um, I like putting my shapes down first so I can kind of see, hey Nick, I can kind of see how much room I'm left to work with. 
um, because this is for a cheerleader uh, my favorite font to use for cheer is called college block it looks like the lettering I know my voice is horrible guys I can hear it in the playback and I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm trying really hard I'm so sorry um, but it looks like the back of the um, football jerseys uh, so it is a little bit American um, but that's what I love to use hey mon um, for all of my cheer so I'm going with the same thing tonight uh, we've got to think up some buzzwords so I'm gonna do because this is called a heel stretch with my spelling we're gonna turn that black and we're gonna make that college block and that's the font that I like to use okay I'm just gonna move this young lady out of the way for one second stretch no that's spelt right okay uh, next buzzword let's go flyer because she's a flyer um, if you don't know the flyers are the ones that they throw up in the air uh, we'll do pyramid what else have I got on the one that I've already done um, round off jumps and spring let's make this Move it up so you can see. Uh, cheer. Stunt. Right, so think up buzzwords. Uh, dance. Walk over. Um, I usually do, if, like, if it's an order and they've requested it, I usually put um, the team name and the club name in there somewhere. Um, I'm just going to put FSA, which is the initials for the club that she's in. Um, and now I'm just going to go through, because we put it all as one text file, and group them as individual words, so that we can start moving them around. Okay, so I went right-click weld, and now I'm just going in for each word and going right click group um, like I said if you want me to show you how to do the exact same thing see I already made one because I wanted to cut it to press it obviously um, if you want me to show you how to do this in design space um, I'm happy to do that for you that's no issues at all okay so we're going to move you back now darling thank you for your cooperation oh you know what we're missing Change tumble to, oh, I'm screaming at Google now, cheer bow silhouette. Here we go. This is a pretty bow. Right click copy, right click paste. And again, we're going to trace our bow. And we'll color her black so that you guys can see. Um, I have noticed in the past, if I just leave the red outline, um, it's a bit hard for you guys to see. Okay, so once you've got all of your buzzwords, um, I know exactly what buzzwords I needed for tonight because like I said, I've, I've already cut one. Um, but just do as many as you can think of um, because you can always delete them if you've got too many or go through and pick which ones you like the best or whatever else. Okay, what we are missing is her name. Her name is Imogen. Whoop. But everybody calls her Immy. So that's what I'm going to put on her canvas. I'm also not adding her team. Um, because this, ki this kid is an incredible athlete. Um, I don't think she's going to be in level 1 after this year. I think they're going to bump her to, straight to level 3 to be honest. Um, so I'm not going to put the team in. I'm just going to put the club in. Because then you know she can get a few more years out of it at least so I'm gonna come in and put my flyer here and my pyramid here I'm gonna have to try and get it exactly the same as I did it before now <laughs> that'll be fun okay so I want something that kind of goes up this part here so with my heel stretch I'm gonna go object rotate 
anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. And I'm going to fit this in here like so. And just resize it so that it fits. Poor girl, how uncomfortable. Let's just move that down a bit. There we go. Okay, heel stretch. Um, I'm going to do the same with, where did walkover go? We've lost walkover. Oh, no, we didn't. Walkover dance FSA. Okay, FSA I'm going to make tiny. It took a lot of self-control. There we go. But I'm doing it. There we go, it's there. It might be small, but I put the club in. Okay, so walk over. I'm going to put walk over up through this part here. So instead of going anti-clockwise, because the way that I do it, everything that you've got on the left half of your canvas, if you're rotating it, rotate it anti-clockwise so it reads bottom to top. Everything that's on the right-hand side, I go top to bottom. So I'm going to rotate it clockwise this time. Okay, so anti-clockwise, clockwise. Okay. Whoops, I'm going to drag it over here. I do have comments open on my phone, guys. If you have questions, I am trying to monitor that as we go. Where does that, that sits? We're going to move that down a little bit and out a little bit. So that sits in there like that. Um, let's put a little bow. I'm going to rotate that as well. And squeeze a little bow in. But this is honestly d the design part is the hardest part of this project. Um, figuring out where everything's going to sit and work and look good and all the rest of it. Um, but once it's done, it looks really good. I'm going to sit that there by the looks of it. And I pull it to... There, where's stunt? Let's put stunt in. Like that. Uh, now, round off is next, and I'm going to rotate that as well. We're going to go anti-clockwise, and we're going to fit that up the other leg. Do you? Break that out a little bit. I oh, know I did not put it there. And she goes up. There we go. Um, handspring is going to sit in here. How did I do that? Okay, I must have squashed this because cheer is also supposed to fit here. Bring hands, bring in just a little bit. Um, Jumps. She mustn't be as big because jumps is supposed to fit. This is what I say, guys. I'm trying to replicate a design that I've already done <laughs> so it lines up. Um, when we go to press it,
because I've put jumps in here. Like that. Keeps booting me off my own live. Hey Beck. Um, you didn't really miss much. Uh, we're making, as you can see, a word art canvas. Um, I'm doing it for a cheerleader, but you can do it for anybody. Um, we're just, well, I'm just trying to um, replicate the one that I cut earlier so that it all lines up with what I show you. Okay, so this one I want to go, oh, whoops. Okay, so this one should have been clockwise and it should have sat in there like that. Um, I've messed up and I've put it anti-clockwise. So I'm going to do it the same way. That I've done it on the cut that I've already done. Just so it sits it needs to better so that's going to come right up to here and out and Umi's going to shimmy to the left I'm going to bring that up in line with dance and we're missing a buzzword which is scorpion going to change the font of that again and make it black so you can see and that right click weld right click group um, we're going to go anti-clockwise as well and scorpion sits in here there we go and that is our word art actually let's put the bow here as well Ta -da! so the club colors are um, white uh, orange and blue obviously I can't do white on a white base um, so we're going to keep the black, I'm going to keep the silhouette, her name, and this silhouette here, all black. So I'm going to go right click group, and I'm just going to move them out of the way for the moment. Okay, actually no I'm not because I want to see what it looks like when it's all together. Okay, so they're my black parts. The next I'll do is blue, I'm going to go heel stretch. Uh, to select more than one object at a time, I have to hold down my shift key, and then we're going to click handspring. Stunt is going to be blue. Scorpion is going to be blue. Pyramid. Dance. This bow here and FSA are all going to be blue. And then we're going to go right click and group. And then what's left is round off, jumps, flyer, this bow here, not her name, walk over and cheer, and they're all going to be orange. Okay, right click and group, and then we have all of our moving sections in their individual groups. Okay, um, now I am cutting the vinyl in these colours, um, so me colouring them. Um, on the screen it's not a print and cut job um, if you were doing uh, these as um, like putting them into photo frames or something where it is actually printed on cardstock or whatever else obviously you'd want to keep the colors so that when it prints it prints with the right colors right because we're cutting into vinyl the colors serve no other purpose than helping me remember when I'm cutting the vinyl which part that I'm up to okay um so we're gonna get rid of this bow because we don't need that one anymore um so when i go to my camo or my maker or whatever you're using um these are now in three different sections okay because i'm using normal htv htv projects have to be flipped 
um, because you cut face down okay so I'm going to go right click flip horizontally and that's going to put it backwards okay so I would then go and cut like I said the workspace I'm working with is six and a quarter inches high by ten and a quarter inches wide okay because that's the size of the canvas that I'm using today so I'm I would then go or I have already cut one piece in my orange glitter that is six and six and a quarter by ten and a quarter I'd then cut the same size for the blue and the same size for the black um, now obviously it might seem like a, a waste of vinyl if you want to go through and do exactly what we just did trying to line them all up and everything like that when you're pressing um, then knock yourself out all I can recommend is like if you're going to do it that way to save vinyl, copy and paste what your design is supposed to look like before you go pulling it all apart to line it up on your mat. Okay, because when you go to piece it all together, you're going to need some kind of visual reference um, as to what it was supposed to look like. Um, I don't have time for that <laughs> crap, so I just, I, I cop the vinyl wastage and I do it this way. Okay, so... Once you go through your cutting machine and everything's cut, you will end up with something that looks like this. Ta I'm going to turn this down. And I'm going to put, I'm going to use my mini press again tonight. Um, you can use a normal, like, easy press. Um, or an iron even um, but I just don't have room in this room for that so that's why all of my HDV projects on a live will be with the mini press um, let's bring you guys back up onto my screen and scroll down for comments okay so while that's warming up I'm gonna pull these apart I always start with my black um, and then I am using the sizer blue glitter um, which is what I had left over um, I when we were a part of this club I used to make um, shirts and singlets and stuff all the time in the club colors for fundraisers and whatnot um, so I'm just using what I had left of the club colors just to get rid of it really let's just use it up so that is the size of uh, the blue glitter um, I will go through and figure out exactly which shade it is um, and add everything to the description and everything at the end of the video um, but this size of glitter is what I used to use um, but it's the really thick one um, I've since found the style tech one uh, if you can see, whoop, if I can stay in camera, this is glitter as well. But it is really, really thin, like Easy Weed is. Um, a lot easier to cut, a lot more forgiving. Um, so I use Style Tech now, but I still do have. Um, there are some colours that I can't buy in the Style Tech that I'm still using the size of glitter for. Okay, so I'm going to turn it. <gasps> Don't spell the T. I'm going to line this up. Like so. Um, because it's mounted canvas too, um, I have done a lot of canvases using HTV, not necessarily this exact project, uh, but I have done a lot of projects in my time using HTV on canvas. Um, if you are using a full-sized um, easy press or an iron, you are going to have to pad the bottom of the canvas, like from underneath. Um, I use tea towels or pillowcases, but you just got to have something under there so that when you're applying pressure, um, the the big panel that you're using, that's why I like my easy press because I can get into all of the little nooks and crannies and right. But because it's one big plate um, and this sags when you push on it because it's mounted, 
it's only going to push down as far as the timber frame and you're not going to get a good press in the middle okay hey tanya So far okay so I'm gonna go in now with oh no my baking paper is running away um, let's do the orange next because I know that this little bow has to sit there so everything should walk over is a bit skew if or maybe it's just my eyes. Just gonna double check. Yeah, that still lines up. Okay, good. And do the same again. Start with my bow. So it's a pretty straightforward project. Um, like I said, the hardest part of this project is the design part. Um, getting everything to fit and look good. Um, figuring out the colours and which colours go where and what words go where and the whole lot, right? Um, I do recommend doing it on a rectangular canvas rather than a square, blah, blah, rather than a square canvas. Um, I usually do A4. Um, I didn't have any A4, which is why we're doing this weird. It's it said six by ten, but that's why I always measure everything myself because it actually ended up being six and a quarter um, project size. And as you'll see, even then, um, it still has like another quarter of an inch ish um, around the edges. Um, but I usually use the A4 ones for this project. Where am I going to put you? Let's see if you'll stay there with the wind outside. Oh, no, my W. Uh, what am I missing? What are you putting on? Ah, uh, yes, it's a mounted canvas, sorry. So it's got the wood underneath. That W's gonna give me trouble tonight. So is this bow, what's going on? Why are you not cooperate? job I can't do mine if you don't do yours there we go <gasps> oh for f's sake stay everybody just stay I think I F the F. I might have to recut the F and restick the F, but not tonight. That's a tomorrow problem, you hear me? But I noticed that this W still wasn't cooperating. That should be everything stuck. That L's gone funny as well. Okay, 
the blue. My kids' walls are covered with canvas. Um, I'm a bit of a wall decor ho. Decor ho. Um, I, I love a good print or a good canvas. Um, not all of them I've made myself. Uh, little man has a lot um, that aren't mine at all, which is why I asked him if he wanted one of these. He was like, no, mum, I'm good, thanks. Make it for Emmy, okay. Um, but he's got... Mel, are you still around? Mel is the one that painted... If anybody saw his Galaxy Fox that he had painted, his Dream Guardian, she's who painted that for him. That's on his wall. He's got a couple of other Fox canvases that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. I think originally they were Kmart ones. Um, but I scored them off Facebook Marketplace. Somebody didn't want them anymore. And I was like, yoink, thank you. I love me a good birthday bargain, especially since the twins' birthdays are 11 days after Christmas, um, and then their older brother is three days after them. So everything happens for me in <laughs> late December, early January, and then I have 12 months to recover. Do we have anybody underwater watching from under the sea tonight? We're on flood watch where I am. Um, it's supposed to pick up pace for us. It's been raining all day today. Um, we were actually on flood alert from Sunday. Um, but then it decided to go to Sydney instead. Um, and now we've been warned that from tomorrow onwards. Um, it could get a little bit gnarly here. Um, we're not near the river or anything. We're not actually at risk of going hugely underwater. Um, but our back room, we've got like a Queensland room out the back. That goes underwater every time. My mum will stand there with a mop. And just, um, I've actually sent the admin team videos. Right, where the water just keeps rising, she's out there with a mop, and the mop isn't, isn't doing anything at all, but she just feels like she has to do something. So, I don't see the point. Just let, you know, if if the water's going to come in, the water's going to come in, isn't it? So just wait until there's a break in the rain and mop up as much as you can before the next wave hits, literally and metaphorically. Um... But no, she likes to stand out there as the water's still pouring in and just mop up and she gets nowhere. Um, the last time our back room flooded, she went through 10 buckets of water and it didn't make any difference before she finally gave up. I don't understand the logic, but I'm sure there's logic in her brain. Somewhere. Is that all set now? Yes, it is! Ta-da! See how easy that was? What is it? 37 minutes it took us to make, not including cut time. Um, I, at a, I, because of this thicker vinyl, um, my cut speed was set to 4, and I think I had the whole project, all three sheets cut within 15 minutes on a speed 4. So, like, say within an hour-ish. But that is, if you can see pretty glitter and let's see if I can stay in frame the orange is sparkly too there we go but the black isn't because I couldn't find the black glitter so the black's just matte but let out canvas what do you reckon ta-da <laughs>